Hello and good evening. Um, this is uh, Ruth Pasuela from Curval.com, and today I'm going to show you how to create intelligence al alerts in Power BI. This would be quite similar to what you would find in the Google Analytics. So what it basically does is uh, you set some parameters and then uh, you get an alert uh, when those parameters are reached. The easiest way is just to show you, so let's do that. So to be able to do this, you have to have uh, the mobile apps, the Power BI mobile apps. You can download them from uh, Android or from iTunes, depending on the phone you have. And uh, what I'm going to show you is how to set up those alerts. Now, to be able to set up the alerts, you have to publish your Power BI desktop reports to the Power BI service. And you have to make dashboards of the tiles that you actually want to put an alert on. It is like pretty straightforward, so I will not show it. But if you have any doubts on how to do it, just uh, let me know and I will do a more complete video. I, I think it's like very basic, but still, if, if you feel that you're not sure how to do it, I, I will do a complete video. What I want to focus today is on the actual app and how to set the alerts once you have the report and the dashboard created. So this is um, the login on the Power BI app on the uh, Apple iPhone. So you can either go through this uh, guide or you can just skip it and just click get started. Okay, just for the sake of it. So here, for example, when you finish, you, you, you will have a um, sample dashboards that you could actually use as an example to set alerts and see how they work. Uh, but we have our own. So we click on get started. And what you will have to do is to log in into Power BI service. So you have to have an account at powerbi.com. Okay. So once you have that, you can uh, log in in the mobile app to connect to the service. I think it's important to say that you have to have a work account or a student account to be able to use it. So no Gmail or Hotmail or this kind of free services, it won't work. You have to have a work or student account. Now I'm on a very slow connection, so I might pause the video from time to time, so you don't have to wait and see it. Uh, these slow updates. So now that we're here, we just log in. So when you once you're logged in, uh, you can. Uh, start looking around so and uh, here in discover what's new you can check uh, what updates uh, microsoft has on but this is not what we're doing today and uh, then uh, here it shows up uh, all the dashboards that you have available or all the reports which is in there. So, so we go back to dashboards and we're going to use the AdWords uh, monitoring dashboard that we've already shown you. Um, so if we click on it. So now it has uh, loaded and uh, I have chosen some of the tiles that are available on the report. I can show you actually the report first so you see how it looks like. So here is our report. Uh, you have um, 
we have the cost of the ads, the revenue, the times they were clicked, and the number of times they were viewed, and then uh, some actions that you need to take, and uh, goal completions. So what I have done is I've chosen to uh, get these, the cost, the revenue, the um, cost per click, times viewed and times click on ads onto the dashboard to be able to track those. But you could have chosen any, any of them. So if we go back here and uh, let's see, we want to follow uh, cost. So you click on it. And when you click on it, you see um, some icons up there. And one of the icons you will see is uh, this, um, like, I don't know how you call it, like, bell there. If you click on it, you will be prompt to set rules for the alerts. And of course, for the alerts to actually work and you get a notification, you need to set the app, uh, allow the app to to send you push notifications. Um, of course, you don't have to. You can still open the Power BI app and look. That, that is also possible. Um, so this specific tile is um, currency and now it's Swedish crowns. So I can actually set an alert. It recognized that and said, okay, this is crowns. And I said, okay, set alert above a certain amount. And I can say, I don't want to spend more than, I don't know, a thousand. And I don't want to, no, below is not so interesting. Um, unless it's like, no, it's not so interesting. So when the cost, that tile cost hits a thousand crowns, it will alert you. Okay. So click on save. And now the alert is on. You see that the bell has changed uh, color. Now you might think, okay, um, if I run the ad for one week or two weeks or three weeks, depending on the budget you have set, you probably will reach a thousand crowns, but it doesn't mean that you are actually paying for expensive ads. And for that, you need to actually um, create the tile in a manner that feeds you, for example, cost, weekly cost of ads or daily cost of ads. So if you have that um, measure, then you can set a, an alert. You say, I don't want to spend more than 50 crowns a day. And then you set an alert for uh, oh, those 50, then it will tell you, hey, I'm spending more. And then you can stop your ad, for example. Um, this is just an example, so I haven't done this uh, daily cost or anything. I mean, this, I'm just showing you the functionality, but the, you can tweak it any way, any way you like. Um, when you receive an alert, I think I have one. You go to notifications. This is an old, old uh, alert that I had on um, when the number of new users to site was bigger than, then I wouldn't have an alert. And, um, and this is how you would see them. So you can use this not only to track things, but also to discover anomalies. For example, you could set up uh, an alert for uh, more than let's say that your website has 
50 visitors a week or, or a day and uh, you want to know when there's a peak so you, you set a, like a crazy alert you say okay I want to know when I reach 150 maybe you're promoting something or you're doing anything online or, or on social so this alert will always be there tracking that and if by any reason even if it's external refer probably there's a very popular uh, and has authority that has referred to you that is bringing you all that massive traffic then you will get an alert of course you will be able to see it too but if you are constantly or daily looking at your website but but i think sometimes you know like spikes on site speed that you might not look at that every day uh, so there are tons of useful usages for that you could do it for sales you could do it for cost you could do it for just just about anything that you think is important important for your business So I hope uh, you like this uh, video and this tip and um, if you have any comments or questions please let me know in the comment box. Um, subscribe, I publish a video a week so you will learn new things together with me and uh, have a great evening, bye!